One of the main issues I've read about and I've experienced with these fine cuts is they don't always cut through. And I had a lot of problems when I first started, but once I figured out some things, they've been great and I use them every day now. First thing I would recommend in starting to troubleshoot this would be to make sure you're using all the right components. The first part you'll need for mechanized cutting with the fine cuts is this part number for the shield. It looks like this. I had to order it separately. Uh, you should already have uh, this part here. Uh, it looks like this. The ohmic, it, the uh, sensor is the only difference there. So otherwise it's the same part. This is your standard fine cut nozzle. This is the basic electrode. And the manual shows these parts here, the swirl ring. Uh, this is not the number I'm using. I'm actually using this number here. It's 857 versus 947. Uh, it may look about the same, but this one's the mechanized cutting version. Something I learned is these electrodes, when they're brand new, they actually have a little bit less power than one that's broken in. This one's brand new. You can see how the tip of it's smooth and shiny. This one has about uh, 1,200 pierces on it right now, so it's definitely not slightly broken in. But you can see there's a divot at the top. Uh, this one actually is cutting better than if I put a brand one in, a new one in there. Now, when I first set up my fine cuts, and they weren't cutting through, my first idea was to lower the cut height, thinking, well, they'll make more power if they're low. But that's actually the opposite. It seems counterintuitive, but as you increase the distance of your nozzle from the workpiece, the machine actually makes a little bit more power and you're going to be able to cut better. These are the specs from the factory manual that came with the uh, Hypertherm 45XP. The initial pierce height is 0.15 and the cutting distance is 0.06. So as your machine is cutting, it'll be 0.06 from the material. Now I found that 0.06 was the main problem and changing this to 0.08 solved the problem. So if you change your cut height to 0.08, you'd want to run that until your Electrode has a little bit of wear on it. This one's a brand new one. This one has a lot of wear. You don't need to wait that long. But the idea is once this one has a little bit of cutting done, it'll make more power. And then you can drop the height back down to the factory 0.06. That's what I've read and that's what I understand to do. Honestly, I always leave them at 0.08. I get excellent life out of these consumables and I have no problem just leaving it at 0.08. I never have a problem. I don't have to figure out when are they broken in? When can I change it down? I just leave it at 0.08 all the time. Now, I just want to reiterate, all I do is I change the cut height to 0.08. Everything else is by the book. Now, these are the settings for uh, full speed recommended. So you can see they're, they're really fast. Now, I personally use the fine cut low speed chart. And again, this is the factory manual and you'll see that the cut speeds are almost half as much, but I just go by and do everything by the book except the 0.06, which is now 0.08. Now, I um, pretty much exclusively cut 14 gauge and you'll see uh, there's a little asterisk there, uh, not a draws free cut. And that is true. Uh, the goal is not necessarily to have no draws. Uh, in my mind, the goal is to have a good edge quality and draws that comes off very easy uh, with a knotted cup brush. Like that. So if it comes off very easily, I have no problem if there's a little bit of draws. Hopefully just changing the cut height will fix your problem. If it doesn't, the next thing is to manually check the cut height of your machine. And you want to do that with your plasma cutter off. So with this test, I'm going to run the machine with the plasma cutter off. It'll do the initial pierce height, and then it'll drop down a cut height, and then I'll stop the machine. Okay, you can see right here how it's 0.0799. Uh, 
uh, that's what the machine thinks it's at and we're going to check that manually just to make sure that we're at 0.08. I don't have a single 0.08 feeler gauge, so I have three that add up to that. Whenever your machine isn't cutting correctly, it's always a good idea to confirm with some sort of gauge that what you see on the screen is what the machine is actually doing. Initially, when I started using this new hypertherm and the fine cuts, I literally couldn't use it at all. It wouldn't cut through on any of the pieces I was working on. I cut mainly 14 gauge, small pieces, small detailed pieces. But after going through the steps that I showed here, my average lifespan of a set of consumables, and I replace the nozzle and the electrode at the same time, I get at minimum 1,800 pierces per set. Uh, the best I've had is just over 2,400 pierces. And I've cut over 10,000 parts and have not had one other issue with not cutting through. Hopefully these tips will help somebody who's running into the same problems that I did. And if anybody's interested in more CNC type topics, uh, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks.